In this video we're going to be looking at desktop configuration in XFCE. Now XFCE is similar to LXDE in that it's a lightweight desktop manager that's available on a lot of the larger distributions such as Ubuntu and Fedora. In this video we will be using the Fedora 16 XFCE spin and we'll just be showing you how to make a new panel and add some icons to that and to change the background wallpaper and the icons. So here we are on the normal Fedora desktop here so let's create a new panel. The well, first thing we need to do is put our mouse down over an existing panel I'm just going to use the bottom panel here although I could use the top one I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to go to the panel option panel preferences left click up comes this multi-tab dialog box so you can see at the moment we have two panels created panel 1 at the top and panel 2 at the bottom I'm going to create a third one by clicking on this plus icon here okay and that's created me panel 3 and it's over here at the moment which is not particularly where I want it so I'm just going to click drag it across to where I want it which is down on the side here on the right and then at the moment if I add icons they're going to go left to right here because it's in horizontal mode so I'm going to make it a vertical panel there we go so this also allows you to change the size and the length of the bar so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger but if we have this option here, it'll automatically size it to the number of icons that we have in our bar, so that's fine. If we go up to the second tab here, labeled appearance, we can change basically how the background of the panel looks. So if I click in here and choose, for instance, a solid color, I can also choose an image. But in here, I can just click and choose a different color. At the moment, I'm going to click on this pipette and just pick up the color down here. Yep, that seems OK to me, kind of a sand colour. And I'm going to click on OK, and you can see my background changes immediately to that colour. Over here in the third tab, labelled Items, is where we actually add the icons within the panel. So I'm going to click down here on this plus to add my first item. So what we get is a scrollable list of the available icons that we can put in that panel so I'm going to start off with um, let's have the launcher and click on the add button and let's have the battery monitor the brightness control and ooh, the clock then when I finished adding my icons I click on the close button you can see my icons listed down here and you can also see them appearing in the panel there if I don't like the order I put them in I can click on the particular item and click this down arrow to move it down or indeed back up again here. If I decide I don't want a particular icon I can just select it and click on the minus button to delete it. Okay, I'm asked to confirm the deletion, I click on the remove button and it's gone. So if I wish to add in a new icon of course I can just click back on the add icon here and choose something different to replace it. Let's take the dictionary. Okay, I'll click on the add and oh, I've got another free space at the bottom let's take the date and time and there we have it there's our little panel and that will remain on the screen ever present unless we go back to this display tab and click this option automatically show and hide the panel so if I click that what you'll find is the panel disappears until I move my mouse into that region Obviously these things are all clickable now. If I want to go into the dictionary, I can just click on that icon and use the dictionary. Okay, so that's adding a new panel and changing an existing panel is exactly the same. If you put your mouse over it, click the right mouse button, go to the panel, panel preferences. As long as you pick the right panel that you wish to configure, in this case this is panel one, which is the top one. As you can see it's got this uh, um, red marching ants around it just to denote it I can then change the appearance and add or delete the icons that appear in that panel I'm not going to do that now so I'm just going to close one other thing we can do is if we right click anywhere on the desktop background is that we can select the desktop settings and this allows us to change the background wallpaper the size of the icons and how the icon text is displayed so 
here we are we've got a number of default wallpapers that we can choose from if we want to add an image of our own we can click on this um, plus icon and navigate to the image I'm just going to choose this one for the moment XCFE turbulence okay so that's putting a new image I can actually click down here and change the color if I want to change it to a different color and apply it and I can change the color saturation down here if I don't like that see if I can get to a little bit more Ooh, well that's rather intense okay Ah, right that's quite a nice nice color now or I can use the brightness slider to make it darker or lighter as I prefer okay I think I'm going to leave it round about there so that's changed our desktop wallpaper this second tab menus this allows us to change which menus are displayed upon the right and middle click of a mouse um, I'm not going to change those now but you can see down here just by checking or unchecking these boxes you can change their behavior this third tab labeled icons then allows you to change the icon type here so we can see what we actually display on the desktop here I'm going to leave it file launcher icons and we can also change the icon size as you can see just make them bigger I can also click here and change the font size up to well that's probably a little bit too big but let's say let's take, leave it down at 19 there and if I move this desktop box and uh, resize the icons you'll be able to read the text eventually okay so once you're happy with the way your desktop now looks, just click the close button. And there you have it, your customized desktop with your new panel. Thanks for watching.